Hello, Susie Rhodes here with Past Masters. I want to talk to you about NASA's exam changes that are taking effect on June 12th. So towards the beginning of February, they announced the exam changes. Let's go to their website and check out what they said. Every five to seven years, NASA conducts job analysis studies to identify and validate the knowledge and skills measured by NASA qualification exams. Incorporating feedback from industry participants and regulators, they decided to make some minor adjustments to their exams. So they want the exams to better reflect the skills and knowledge needed by broker dealer agents and investment advisor representatives in today's ever-changing financial industry. While the test specifications for each examination have been updated, the content of the examinations has not dramatically shifted. NASA says so themselves. Instead, some new topic areas were added while others were modified or de-emphasized. Starting June 12th, NASA will update questions on all three exams, 63, 65, and 66, although really not on 63, to reflect information from the SECURE Act 2.0, SECURE 2.0. So that will be, of course, covered in all of Past Masters courses. So what, what are we talking about here? The overall passing scores for 63 and 66 remain unchanged. 65, you can miss two more questions than before. So you have to get 92 out of 130 correct in order to pass the 65. So 65 is the only one that has had a passing score change. Let's look at the content outline for series 65. For series 65, there is no changes to the four sections and there is no changes to the weighting of the questions within each section. So when you go and take and pass your test, you'll get a pass. You won't know how you did in any specific section. But there are four sections to the content outline, and section one remains 20 questions for series 65. It is economic factors and business information. I want to point out what is new. For section one, what is new is found within types of risk, geopolitical risk. So that is the new content for section one. Investment vehicle characteristics remains 32 out of the 130 questions. What's new here? Within types of equity securities, what is new is floating rate preferred. Also new in this section is the topic of equity public offering, the IPO, secondary offering, and SPACs, blind pools, blank check companies. Also new within section two under the topic characteristics of pooled investments is relative comparisons, benchmarks, manager tenure, change in investment policy, and style. Non-liquid REITs are new too. The final new topic within section two of the outline is found within the topic of other assets, and that is digital assets. So an understanding of what are digital assets, a little bit on cryptocurrency and NFTs, initial coin offerings and tokens. Section three of the content outline remains 39 questions. What's new here? Under portfolio management strategies, styles and techniques, we see reference to inverse strategies. In the topic tax consideration, RMDs, updated because of Secure 2.0, and we have IRMA, income-related monthly adjustment amounts. Also within tax considerations, we see master limited partnerships under pass-through entities. Retirement plan topic sees the addition of a solo 401k, and it is within the retirement plan topic that I will cover Secure 2.0. ERISA issues, you will have to learn about qualified default investment alternatives. The topic ownership and estate planning techniques introduces a new type of joint ownership, community property with rights of survivorship. In this topic is also donor advised funds. Within the topic trading securities is the concept of payment 
for order flow. What changes can we expect within the law portion of the 65 and 66? This would also be 63, since 63 is entirely law. There is now on the outline continuing education requirements for IARs. I cover that within the topic regulation of investment advisor representatives, continuing education requirements, IARCE. Within the topic regulation of securities and issuers is the basic concepts of what is the difference between an exemption and an exclusion from registration. Who are finders? New. Within ethical practices and fiduciary obligations, we have a new topic. Exploitation of vulnerable adults. I also want to mention 66 has a 73% passing score, and it has some new information on the 66 outline that wasn't there before. So it almost exactly mirrors the 65 section two. So let's look at 65 section two, and I'll show you the one topic that's not on 66. It is this letter B, fixed income securities, that is not on the 66 outline. All of the other topics within investment vehicle characteristics are on the 66 outline. There's a few that weren't on there before. But those who take 66 have their SIE and their Series 7, or they're getting them. So that information is, the new information is not really new. It's just a review of what, what you already know. Some other things to note about the Series 66 outline is there are three more questions on the test as of June 12th in the area of economics and business information. So there used to only be five. There will be eight going forward as of June 12th. So the three more in section one came from section two. So section two of the content outline used to be on series 66, 20 questions, and now it's only 17. So investment vehicle characteristics includes more information than it did before, and it has less questions. <laughs> Worth knowing, section three of the content outline for 66 remains 30 questions. Section four, the law, which is exactly the same as 65, has 45 questions. So series 66, passing score is 73, 100 question test. Let's look at the series 63 content outline update, effective June 12th. Same information has changed within the 63 that changed within 65 and 66 within section four, but they've slightly changed the number of questions for each topic on the 63 exam. The passing score remains 43 correct out of 60. So it's roughly a 72% you need to get in order to pass the 63. So the first topic was three questions. It remains three questions. The second topic also stays the same. Regulation of broker-dealers used to be nine questions, so going forward, there's two less than before. So we have three, three, seven for regulation of broker-dealers, one less for regulation of agents of broker-dealers, so eight. Regulation of securities and issuers has five questions, so two more questions here than before. Remedies and administrative provisions has one more question than before. Communication with customers and prospects remains at 12, and ethical practices and obligations still has 15 questions. So once again, your passing score for Series 63 is 43 correct out of 60. The passing score for Series 65 will be effective June 12th, 92 out of 130 correct. So it's slightly over a 70%, almost a 71%. You need to get 92 or more correct in order to pass. Passing on the 66 exam remains 73 questions out of 100. It is the only NASA exam that has an actual not decimal placed percentage, 73%. Passing. 
There's new videos, there's new questions, there's new key facts for all of the new NASA information. All of our past master's courses include all of the new information. You will be prepared and ready to go take and pass your 65, 66, and 63 exams. Happy studies. Good luck.